Professor Phil Butler from the University of Canterbury is championing the use of colour imaging in X-ray technology. His science is transforming the way X-ray is used in medicine and security. We've got into this field of pioneering colour X-rays, colour imaging with X-rays, and it gives you a lot more information. And that's very useful for medical imaging. It enables you to do a lot of diagnosis you can't do otherwise. I'm certain that once people realise what the extra scope this can provide, there'll be a big market for it. When you go from a black and white camera of photographing a tree with its leaves, you can't tell whether the leaves are healthy or not. But if you've got a colour camera, you can see whether they're healthy leaves, whether they're diseased. Well, it looked to be a product that added a new dimension to the whole scope of imaging and diagnosing. So we saw that as a, as a, as a new niche in a very competitive market. Medical imaging industry in the US is something like 20 billion a year. But that's medical imaging. That doesn't count for the fact that every suitcase in the US that flies gets a CT scan. It allows the, the operator to say, is there anything suspicious in the back? And indeed, that's what medical people want to say. Is there anything suspiciously wrong with this person? Professor Butler's research underpins collaboration across the science community to take his technologies to market. The, the colour detector comes out of a collaboration of 24 institutes from you know, South America, North America, mostly from Europe. New Zealand, of course, us, and, and it's based in, in Geneva. The University of Otago and the University of Canterbury have run a very successful business capital raising and getting it started and off the ground. So. He's a leader in the commercialisation space as far as we're concerned. The people who are developing drugs are very interested in this technology. We've got a lot of government funding and that's been very, very helpful. But we have convinced um, colleagues, actually mostly medical colleagues, who've said this is something that really they can see the future of. We want it to be a major export earner for New Zealand.